What's up? It's me, your boy. It's Cam, Coach Cam. Um, there's been a bit of chatter, a bit of chirping going on lately. I like chirp, but sometimes instead of leaning into chirp and chirping back, it's good to step back, create a space where we can develop some perspective and some context. It's very important for people to understand where it is that I come from as a strength coach so that things don't get misconstrued along the way and things aren't misled. I wanna be completely transparent with my process. Let's take my boy, Tyler Boone, who's been putting in some fucking work. He's been big dogging it. He's just been doing the reps, right? In a garage, in a garage. Not a fancy gym, not a super duper sports facility. In a garage with a stick that we put some weights on the end of. Tyler Boone. I was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. Tyler is very strong. What Tyler has needed more than anything hasn't been some objective, by the numbers, cookie cutter, strength program. Tyler has needed guidance, he's needed coaching, and that coaching involves helping him understand what strength is intrinsically, and that is its confidence. It's understanding that your nervous system, it doesn't want to get stronger. It doesn't like feeling uncomfortable. And lifting heavy is uncomfortable. It doesn't feel fun. It's not, it's not the best time you can have with your pants on, I promise you that. As a coach, in order to facilitate strength, it's not about just saying, hit these numbers for this many reps, I'll see you next week. I need to have conversations with Tyler, but I also need to have conversations with Tyler's nervous system. So we've got Tyler and Tyler's ego, not a bad word, but Tyler's ego. Tyler's ego exists and it knows what it knows. Then there's Tyler's nervous system. Tyler's nervous system is very plastic. It's a very, very simple system. I stress it out and then it adapts. If I don't stress it enough, it doesn't adapt. If I go for a long time not stressing it out, it adapts to that and then that becomes, well, this is my training and I don't need to train harder because if I train harder, X, Y, Z happens. And we start to make all these excuses for ourselves as to why we shouldn't train harder. It's conversations with Tyler explaining to him that even though this 195 that we're about to pick up is heavy, heavy, subjective, never changes. If I was to get him to do 165 uh, for as many reps as he could, then the last rep that he does at 165 is heavy. The nervous system just feels heavy. But if it doesn't get exposed to heavy, you'll never find the confidence to pick up heavy weight, objectively heavy weight. Now this is 195 kilos, objectively, because we can measure that. But then subjectively, you'll watch Tyler's nervous system go through a phase through this lift that he hasn't been before. And we were talking about this yesterday I have videos of Tyler hitting 165 and 170 and then we would go for a double and he would try to pick up that 170 and he would get it to mid shin or maybe just below the knee and then he'd put it down and say, nah, it's not moving anymore. Now as a coach, it's very frustrating when people don't back themselves in, but I need to be able to show Tyler footage of himself and say, this is what we're working with. You've got it. You've just got to trust it. You've got to have a bit of confidence. It's about building trust between me, the coach, and Tyler, the lifter, it's about building confidence and trust between Tyler's ego and Tyler's nervous system. They've got to shake hands so that Tyler's ego knows, okay, this is what it feels like to work where we need to work. And Tyler's nervous system says, this doesn't feel comfortable, but I'm confident that Tyler's ego can manage this. Now let's watch this 195 come up. This is a PB for, for Tyler. This is a big PB for Tyler as well in a garage, right? With minimal G up. It's raining it's it's freezing cold it's pissing with rain we're in a garage you goddamn right we're in a garage with a metal stick and some plates on the end 195 watch him pick this shit up is how we objectively objectively measure somebody's ability to produce force. That's strength on paper. For all you nerds, right? If you want the science, go read a book. It's not about the numbers. It's about bridging the gap between Tyler's nervous system and Tyler's ego. That's what coaching is. You have to be able to provide perspective for the individual and context. You've got to get out of your own way. If you're a coach, a strength coach, 
you, and you can't have these conversations with people where you're explaining and exposing them to these positions they're not comfortable in. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, you're not a strength coach. You're a math teacher and you're just spitting numbers at people. You've gotta be able to bridge the gap. If you can't bridge the gap, you are making people stronger. You're just giving them reps.